We begin the morning rush with breaking overnight news. New video into our newsroom showing Albuquerque fire crews responding to a house fire early this morning in northwest Albuquerque. This home on Central near Laguna, you could see badly damaged smoke still billowing from that home around four o'clock this morning. That's when this video was shot, including firefighters still on scene. We did reach out to AFR. We're waiting for word on what may have sparked the blaze or if any injuries were reported. At this time, no word on a cost of damage. On to other news for you now. The man charged in the death of five year old Renesme Calzada. May have to wait longer before going to trial. Both sides asking for more time as they process a mountain of evidence in the case against Malcolm Torres to include 30,000 pictures on Torres's phone. Torres is charged with a girl's murder after her body was found outside of Española. The Albuquerque Police Union wants more homicide detectives on the force. Right now, the department has 11 of those detectives, but the Albuquerque Police Officers Association thinks, based on the department's caseload, that should increase to at least 15. This says the number of homicides in Albuquerque is on track for a record high this year. Erica. All right, we have a cold front moving through this morning. That's going to be dropping temperatures off, especially on the east side of the state. But then high pressure ridge is going to move overhead, keeping us dry and sunny and gradually warming up as we go into the weekend. On to news happening today. This morning, the Walmart in El Paso, where 22 people were killed in a mass shooting, will reopen with new armed officers as security. At today's opening, the store's manager will raise the U.S. flag, which has been at half staff since the shooting. A makeshift memorial once outside the store is now at a nearby park. This morning, police say a Tuesday night shooting that killed a Cibola High School student was accidental. This happened at Meadow Lake Place near Montano and Unser. While on scene, police found 17 year old Isaiah Martinez had been shot. He later died at UNM Hospital. At this point, there's no word if it was self inflicted or if anyone else was involved. A new federal project will focus on gun crimes. The DOJ announcing the start of Project Guardian following Attorney General William Barr's Albuquerque visit. The feds say the project will work with state and local law enforcement to consider potential federal charges when a suspect is arrested for weapons charges. An Albuquerque woman is facing charges this morning, seen on video fighting with a bus driver. Last month, police say 32 year old Erica Garcia was drunk when she got on the bus at Central in Wyoming. Video shows Garcia fight with the bus driver while he was waiting for dispatch to arrive. Garcia was eventually removed from the bus. The driver is now doing okay. New Mexico health officials confirming the number of lung injuries related to vaping also on the rise. The Department of Health reported three new cases yesterday, bringing the total to 20 cases. 13 of those patients have been hospitalized in intensive care units, majority of them admitting to using THC cartridges. The Metro Threat Index staying low for today, only at a one. We have very quiet weather in store, but this morning is starting out chilly, so make sure that you do grab your coat before you head out the door. Costco is setting the record straight on a Facebook scam. It's for a $75 coupon for the, uh, for the store. The company says it's not real. The fake offer prompts users to click on a link not affiliated with Costco, then share it on Facebook. Experts say if you have to share a suspicious amount of personal information or post about it, it probably is not real. Happening today, students at CNM will get a hands on experience from an Albuquerque judge and real defendant. Judge Yvette Gonzalez will sentence a defendant that has pleaded guilty to DWI in front of a criminal justice student. The students will then hear from the defendant and then be able to ask the judge and attorney's questions. The massive one Albuquerque sign has an unlikely new home this morning. The $44,000 structure now sits in a closed off maintenance yard off of the zoo, right next to a pile of dirt and a dumpster. People we spoke with say that it's been there since last week and they were disappointed by the placement. The city says it's only temporary until River Lights starts up. All right, APS students, get ready to weigh in on what traits you feel the new APS superintendent should have. Next week, a series of meetings will be held for the community to give input on their hopes and expectations for the new superintendent, as the current superintendent, Raquel Reedy, announcing her retirement earlier this year. Early voting for the runoff election begins on Tuesday. The runoff election for council districts two and four is required after none of the candidates received 50% of the vote. Current District 2 City Councilor Isaac Benton will face off against Zachary Quintero. And in District 4, Brooke Bassan will go head to head with Aner Romero. Erica. Look at the morning drive. Looks like there are no accidents out there right now. Just some very minor slowdowns on Paseo near um, I 25 interchange and I 40 near the Big Eye. Soldiers overseas will soon receive thank you notes from some Albuquerque Mid School students. Students at Wilson Middle School created the handmade cards yesterday morning that will be sent out with holiday care packages to active duty military serving overseas. The Blue Star mothers are getting ready to send 300 goodie boxes to those soldiers.